Good morning. My name is Borbella Shrani and I'm a licensed massage therapist and certified personal trainer. In these videos, I would like to show you some head and neck massage movements that you can do safely at home and also some, some shoulder exercises that you can also do easy. We're going to cover from your head to your shoulder because all of those muscles are connected and then the movements are going to be complementary between the exercises. So we're going to start with your head, we're going to work on, the, on those head muscles a little bit, then we're going to get into your jaw because that's where a lot of people store also some stress. Then we're going to get into your neck and then some shoulder exercises. On the neck exercises, I would like you to practice some caution if you have any kind of pre-existing conditions that you know of. Just be cautious of that and also if you want to, you can reach out to me and I can either send you some modifier things or some other exercises that you might be able to do. We do have some intricate structures in our neck like arteries, veins and nerves. So if at any point through the exercises or the massage, you feel a pulse, with your finger, just move away from it, no big deal. Or if you feel any kind of like neurological symptoms with any kind of neck movement, uh, for example, numbness or weakness going down your arm, tingling sensation, some burning sensation, just stop doing the exercise for a second and then either you can reach out to me and tell me what you felt and then we can think about a modifier thing or just skip that exercise altogether. Um, if you have any kind of other contraindications you, that you can think of, then just be cautious about it or again, just reach out to me and I, we can talk through it. So I would highly recommend that you do all three areas together because they are all very connected. Uh, but you can choose to just do the head part, just do the jaw part, just do the neck part, just do the shoulder part. It's, you can also work through that. Let's dive into the head massage part. First, we're gonna start at the top of the head and then you can move with your fingers, either little circles or you can go back and forth and just cover the whole top of your head. Everything. And then we're gonna start going down to the side. Here, this big flat part is the temporalis muscle. Again, you can go in circles or back and forth. I'm just looking for tender spots and then differences between left and right side. The temporalis muscle is a big muscle over your ear. It's almost like a fist size. So you can cover that whole muscle. Like so. Then you can move into these parts. This is where everybody rubs if, rubs if they have a headache. Should feel pretty good. I'm just doing little circles. You can go both ways. Next step, we're gonna slide down to your jaw. There's this big muscle that goes from your cheekbone, from underneath your cheekbone to the jawline. So you can cover it from top to bottom and just glide down or you can go across the muscle belly going from front to back. Like so. And also little circles. You don't have to be too aggressive with this motion because again, there's some uh, intricate tissues underneath, but just feel for tender spots. Good. Then I'm gonna hook my thumb underneath my jawline and I'm basically just gliding back following my jaw on the inside. All the way from the tip of my chin, all the way back. Then I'm gonna cover my ears and just squeeze and rub from top to bottom. A Couple of times like so. You can also work on your forehead with little circles, little openings, little glides like that. A little bit over your nose. A 
little bit on your chin. And then lastly, you can rake your fingers into your hair all the way back. If you don't have long hair, just rake on your uh, skull, just rake on your head all the way back, all the way back. Good. If you have long hair, you can rake with your fingers in, grab your hair at the roots, and then just squeeze into a fist. And just squeeze a little bit. Same thing on the top, just squeeze a little bit. Good. Squeeze. You can cover your whole head like so. Okay, I just want some blood flow so you can feel some tingling and some warmth in your, on your head. It should feel pretty good. Same thing on your jaw. You could see that my face is a little bit pink. And then you can definitely feel these ones to warm up a little bit. So that comprises the head massage part. In this video, I'm going to show you some neck massage movements and some neck exercises that you can do at home. First, we're going to talk about your SCM. This is this big muscle that goes from behind your ear to your collarbone and your sternum. How you can find it is I turn my head and then I put my hand on my forehead and I push into my hand a little bit. So you see this muscle popping up right here. So this is your SCM. You can see the full length here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use a pincer technique, which means that I'm going to line up this part of my finger with the muscle, this part of my finger is going to be parallel and I'm just going to squeeze it with my thumb. So once I find a muscle, I go start from the bottom and I start covering it up from the bottom all the way up to the top. like so. You can feel some tenderness in the bottom part of it, in the middle or the top. If you feel some tenderness on the bottom, there's another move that you can do. So I need to get behind my collarbone. This is my collarbone right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to curl my fingers behind that bone and I'm just basically going to glide left to right and cover the attachment side of that muscle. This might be a little bit uncomfortable, but if you feel any tenderness, then this might be a good move for you to do. I'm just lightly going. I'm not going too heavy, just a little bit light. Good. Come back, cover this muscle again. Excellent. So the next one, we're gonna focus on the scalenes. There are three scalene muscles, and then we're gonna stretch them a little bit actively. So in this move, you're going to have to time the exercise with your breathing. As in, one of the moves that we're going to do is that I'm covering this side of my neck. So this hand is going to go behind my back. When I exhale, I'm going to pull down on my shoulder to try to drop my clavicle and my ribs down. And then in the meantime, with the exhale, I'm going to laterally bend my head to the opposite side. So if I'm treating this side, my head goes this way. Okay, so we're gonna time it with the breath, and then once you inhale, is just a relaxation inhale, you don't have to do anything on the inhale. So inhale. When you exhale, you're gonna pull down on your arm and then laterally bend your neck at the same time. Inhale back, exhale.
Good. You don't have to be too aggressive with it. You're definitely going to feel a stretch on the lateral side of your neck, just on the side of your neck. So now we're going to get into the anterior scalings, which the exercise is going to be almost similar, just the head movement is going to be different. Instead of just laterally bending, I'm going to rotate my head and I'm going to look up. In this exercise and stretch, I want to feel a stretch in the anterior part of my neck a little bit and then um, see where I feel it, see how far deep down I feel it into my shoulder. Same thing, inhale is normal and relaxed. When I exhale, I'm gonna turn and then look up. Inhale back to normal. Good. I felt the stretch more in here and all the way all the way down to my shoulder a little bit and a little bit up into my jaw too so that's a good move to do for the scalings the next one we're just gonna get onto the posterior side of your neck and I'm just gonna get one hand and I'm just gonna squeeze the back of my neck and I'm just squeezing all the way up onto my hairline Excellent. All of these movements, massage techniques and stretches, you don't have to be too aggressive just to save your neck. Uh, I'm just looking for some movement and some activity in the muscles. So the next couple of exercises is going to be more muscle activation. We're going to just look down, look up, look down, look up. Try to actively move your neck, not just hang it down. And go slow same thing we're gonna do lateral bends try to keep your nose straight ahead from side to side don't try to force too much of a stretch same thing with rotation try to look behind your shoulder Great. That will be all the moves that we would do for the neck. So try those, see how it feels. For the next two exercises, we're going to get on all fours and we're going to do two exercises. One of them is going to be a cat camel, which a lot of people might be familiar with. On that one, I would want you to focus on slowly rolling your spine and try to feel all of the segments moving separately. And the second exercise is going to be a shoulder exercise where I'm going to move my rib cage between my shoulder blades. So let's start with the cat camel. So I'm going to get into this offward position and I'm going to roll my spine slowly all the way to extension. Slowly all the way to flexion while exhale. On the next exercise, I'm going to keep my hip in a neutral position and I'm only going to move around my shoulder blades. So what I want you to do is without bending your elbow, try to sink your chest towards the floor and then try to raise your back towards the ceiling as high as you can go. Chest to the floor, creating a valley between your shoulder blades 
back to the ceiling, creating a mountain between your shoulder blades. Belly down, trying to pinch your shoulder blades together. Mountain up, and push the floor away at all times. Down. Great movement for you to move your shoulder blade onto your rib cage. So just watch for that movement and try to feel that one. The next two exercises. The next two exercises, you can do them either standing up, kneeling down, or sitting down in a chair also. The first one is going to be an overhead reach. If you have any kind of shoulder pain or discomfort with that one, you can reach a little bit forward too. What I'm looking for is to kind of like get your clavicle off of your rib cage. So I just want you to reach. And we're also gonna do this actively. What I also want you to focus on is that don't extend too much in your back. So I want you to tuck your pelvis down a little bit, tuck your tailbone underneath yourself and keep your ribs down while we do this exercise. So we're gonna reach overhead, I'm tucking my pelvis down, keeping my ribs down, and I'm just gonna reach overhead one by one while I still breathe. Or I can statically reach and breathe. Like so. I want your upper trapezius to work a little bit and a little bit between your shoulder blade too. The last exercise, you will need an elastic band for you and just hang it up kind of like shoulder height for yourself. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab this band and I'm gonna, once I get into position, I'm gonna pull it to my face and release slowly. Pull to my face and release slowly. Again, I keep my pelvis tucked under, I keep my ribs down so I'm not extending through my back. Grab the bend, pull it to your face, and release really slowly. Pull it to your face, release slowly. Pull, release slowly. Same thing on this exercise, I want your upper traps and the muscles between your shoulder blades to work. I want you to focus on bringing your shoulder blades together when you pull back. I don't want you to extend again in your back, so keep your ribs down, keep your pelvis tucked under. Try those exercises and let me know how it feels. If you have any kind of discomfort or pain in your shoulders while you do them, let me know, reach out to me and we can figure out a different exercise for you to do. Uh, you can try the exercises a couple of times a day or just once in your routine. Basically, it's just the repetitions that you need to get some activity in those muscles. The more activity, the more strength you can get in those muscles, the better and healthier they get. So, try those exercises and let me know how you feel. Have a great day.